Hello, today we have some great tips for you for the month of August. Of course, it continues to be hot and watering is one of our biggest chores in the landscape this time of year. So be sure you pay attention to your plants and even look around and poke around in the soil once in a while to see how moist the soil really is. And uh, when you do water, water deeply. Some of us are still really dry. Some of us have been fortunate to have some rainfall um, and that's really helped a lot. But remember that quick showers downpours don't soak into the ground and so they may not be helping your plants a whole lot so it really helps to probe around in the soil a little bit go down six inches maybe a little bit lower to see what that soil moisture is and when you do water water less frequently but water deeply also if you have compost piles in the landscape be sure to water them keep them nice and moist so they remain active and be sure to turn them frequently to keep them going and help the sterilization process also continue to watch for insects, uh, some high populations of insects in the garden. We still can see uh, spider mites, uh, aphids, scale, uh, thrips, uh, caterpillars. If you see those and they're in high populations, uh, treat them as needed. In the flower garden, uh, spring blooming perennials such as irises, peonies, daylilies can also be divided again if needed. Uh, if they're getting really crowded, then, then August is a good time to divide them and replant those. Hedges and shrubs can be pruned again if necessary in about mid-August. However, roses, sh you should stop deadheading those to help initiate winter hardiness. Now, if you live in areas where fall webworms have been a problem, a second generation may pop up late August, early September. Uh, if they pop up, remove the webbing and destroy them or if you're going to use an insecticide, make sure that you get, get, get good penetration into the webbing to get good control. For the vegetable garden, August is a great time to start that fall garden. Bush beans, cucumbers, and summer squash can be replanted. Cool season plants such as beets, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, and even potatoes can also be planted at this time. For those of you maintaining fruits in the landscape, don't abandon your spray program too early. Um, and be sure to follow label directions regarding the last application prior to harvest. For your turf areas, if you want to prevent winter annuals, such as annual bluegrass from popping up, late August, early September is an excellent time to put down a pre-emergence herbicide. These products need to be watered in to activate them. Now continue to mow your tall fescue and other cool season grasses at three inches. If it's in heavier shade, raise it up to about three and a half inches. If you're converting your turf areas over to tall fescue this fall, you want to spray your Bermuda grass starting early August with products containing glyphosate. Now, cool season grasses can still have problems with brown patch disease, so treat those as needed. Irrigated turf areas can still be fertilized once again. However, if you've had problems with spring dead spot in your Bermuda grass lawns, this will be your last application for the season. And finally, if you have large brown spots in your turf at this time of year, be sure to look for high numbers of grubs. If, if there's a high population of grubs in the area, then go ahead and treat those.